Why, hi there, it's me, Uncle Ron, and wanted to update you on a couple things uh, on a personal level, and then I'll do another video to talk about what's coming up on the channel. Um, as far as the coronavirus thing is concerned, it has taken kind of a personal turn for me. Uh, you notice I do this from bed. You never see my hands there. Uh, I don't think I can get them up in the camera anyway. It's a good day that my nose hair isn't showing out too much. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know about my disability, which some of you who might be just friends on Facebook may not know about it, uh, I have people that come in at night to feed me dinner and to help me go to the bathroom while my wife is at work. My wife works at a healthcare facility in... Uh, across the street from where we are, actually. And so that that's quite convenient. Uh, to make a long story short, the current caregivers, uh, one was doing a semester abroad in Spain. His girlfriend was doing a year abroad in Italy. And the nice young lad that filled in for the one that was doing the primary job went to visit him this week in Spain. Well, as you know, the proverbial poop has hit the fan and they are trying to get back. But after consulting with my wife's work and with the home health agency that comes in to give me, uh, get me up in the morning to make me look as pretty as I do, uh, the order was no. Those kids cannot come in for two weeks once they get back in the States. And so we've had to really scramble to make sure that my wife can go to work, try to do our part to keep uh, exposure to this virus out of our elderly-laden building and her assisted living facility. So, yeah, it kind of got real, real quick uh, starting midday yesterday once we realized what was going on. The as much as it sounds like people are panicking, and for goodness sakes, you don't need 18,000 rolls of toilet paper, and hopefully there's some, still some canned goods left when my wife goes shopping later today. Uh, the key is you got to be vigilant, and you got to be realistic. Um, uh, this is kind of, I think we're all in uncharted waters with this. We just really don't know what's going to happen and I think that just leads to a lot of anxiety and for some people it's panic and some people go into survival mode and figure that you need a 55 gallon drum of creamed corn I don't think you need a 55 gallon drum of creamed corn but hey if you like creamed corn then more power to you um, this is going to get bumpy folks before it gets better and as I said we'll talk about in another video the implications for what's coming up on the channel as those of us who work in the sports and entertainment industries come to the quick realization that there isn't a sports and entertainment industry in the world at the moment. Um, and that, for some of my friends, is real difficult to swallow. That means paychecks and hoping that the more caution that we all use in the next couple of weeks, the sooner this can get done and we can try to pick up uh, where we were and go back. Uh, if you need someone to talk to, uh, reach out, okay? Reach out to me, reach out to your good friends, tell them how scared you are, tell them that, you know, love them, you know, can we get you anything, and all that. You know, we still are here for each other, and even if the word social distance, which sounds like something out of a psychology textbook for crying out loud, uh, is a new word to you. It certainly was to me yesterday. That doesn't mean that you can't communicate and express emotions and feelings through uh, social media, as a couple of people have already done, or uh, through emails or through whatever. You know, we are all here for each other. Um, and we'll get through this one way or another. But you know, heed the warnings, wash your hands, don't pick your nose on camera, uh, you know, wipe your tushy when you're done going to the bathroom and sing whatever song you want for 20 seconds while you're washing your hands. Man, I suggest, you know, you find uh, Stewie from Family Guys. Oh, no, that wasn't Stewie. It was uh, uh, Sideshow Bob and Bart Simpson doing the HMS Pinafore. 
I think that was the Conan O'Brien episode of The Simpsons. You know, keep your sanity. In the upcoming live streams, we will post resources for you if you just feel like you need to talk to somebody. Because that is going to be important as we go through. Because none of us know what's going to happen. We can blame whatever it is, that we, whoever we want to blame. But right now, blame isn't in the middle of the car wreck. You can't, blame isn't going to do anybody any good. Okay? As far as my health is concerned, yes, I am a type 2 diabetic uh, with a history of heart trouble in the family. But actually, just by chance, had a, a nurse here this morning to do a regular uh, recertification for my morning LNA home health care needs. Lungs were fine. Uh, no signs of anything, and my oxygen level was at 99%. So I go into this, and my wife goes into our own certain period of uncertainty uh, on the plus side of things. It's just a matter of trying to keep uh, people from being intentionally exposed because chances are we've already been exposed, and you will be exposed, and possibly a carrier for the virus and not ever know it. So that's that for that. If you just need someone to talk to, and I don't care if I haven't talked to you in 25, 35, 40 years, uh, reach out. We're here. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.